Hello everyone, this is Zen. Really excited to have this update with you guys today. I'm gonna to cover the Equilibrium white paper with you guys today. I'm also gonna to briefly touch on the Canary X token. We talked, we talked about the airdrop last night and there's been, I did a little bit more research into what a rebase token is and, and more. So I'm gonna talk a little bit more about what it is really quick. So Hugo also uh, messaged the Canary X token. Thank you for building uh, in the Flare ecosystem. I'd like to know more about the project. Uh, they actually responded to, to Flare. It's just a community project on Songbird Network. Just what's unique about it is it's the first one. So this is also a communication that I found with them and Light FTSO, a signal provider on the Songbird and Flare Network. We're not the first to do something like this, but as far as I know, this might be the first on the Songbird Network. We're creating a rebase token that has an 11% fee on all transfers and automatically distributes 100% of the transfer fees to all who hold the token in their wallet. No need to connect to a website and no staking, no staking minimum. Light FTSL goes, sounds cool. So what are other rebase programs, uh, coins? Uh, a lot of people, there's a big craze right now with, where did I put my thing? Here it is, uh, with these ohm forks. You probably heard about the ohm forks or these, these coins that give APY like Wonderland Time, Klima, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, uh, ohm. That's what you can compare this project with. These are the top rebase tokens. Uh, we will have to look at the, the white paper when it releases, supposedly by December 10th, they'll have the white paper out and we'll be able to understand a little bit more about it. But that's some of the communication that I've seen. Let's move along to Equilibrium Games. So currently it's at 42 cents. There's 100 million coins uh, in the total supply. Right now there's only 53 million EQ uh, circulating. And uh, let's look at the white paper. Equilibrium Games. They have a disclaimer that this is not financial advice and I might as well say a disclaimer right now as well. Entering crypto is always risky. This is not financial advice. Uh, this is just purely entertainment and educational purposes only. Me personally, I'm gonna use these, this gaming coin to red pill my, my cousins and people that I'm friends with that love games, my gamer friends, this is how I'm gonna red pill them on the XRP ledger. Cause this is pretty revolutionary. Any gamer that I know would absolutely love a platform like Equilibrium Games. First of all, let's go over the definition of equilibrium. Equilibrium is a state in which opposing forces or actions are balanced so that one is not stronger or greater than the other supply or demand we're in equilibrium, a level playing field or balance. Chemical equilibrium is a state of emotional balance or calmness. It took me several minutes to recover my equilibrium. So here's the market background for the gaming industry. The video game industry is growing with new products and technology and could be worth over 200 billion by the end of 2021. As technology expands, video content content, pr products, virtual reality, special events, and video game tournaments increase. These are just ways the industry is turning into a reoccurring revenue model and capitalizing on increased demand. Equilibrium is a new cryptocurrency token launched 27th of August, 2021. 20, so it's a brand new project. They currently have seven team members on this project. I read that in the telegram today. Equilibrium has unique character as compared to other digital currencies since it is a token paired with games. This project was developed by true gamers who want people to enjoy and earn at the same time. People can earn rewards with every game they play. Games by Equilibrium Games and Partners uses blockchain technology and NFTs to empower the player's freedom to trade and, mar trade and market as they want. NFTs are an emerging part of the global game market, virtual tokens for digital scarcity, security, and authenticity. Each NFT is a distinct or unique. It is indivisible and is not interchangeable by, uh, for another. So basically, I think what they're saying it here is 
you'll play a game and let's say you're one of the first people playing a game and you earn like a rare sword. There's only one sword in that game. Uh, they could empower the player by allowing that player to sell that coin, that sword on the open market uh, for resale and another player could purchase it, let's say for a thousand equilibrium. And the next person could sell it to the next person for 1500 equilibrium. And you create like a, a resale market within the game to empower the players. And it's all going to the players instead of the central platform is what I'm kind of putting the pieces together in my mind as I'm reading this. Play to earn model. This is a new game model. Gaming should be fun. Rather than having to think about every single penny you spend and taking up all your time, wouldn't it be great to play to earn? Equilibrium has built a unique infrastructure that builds on the growing XRP ledger and combines it with a gaming. Let me reread the back. Equilibrium game has built a unique infrastructure that builds on the growing XRP ledger and combines it with gaming through unique NFTs, but also generate unique NFTs that can be used across multiple of game. Uh, across a multitude of games this gives equilibrium game users the unique ability to play for free and to earn in one single process so these games will be free to get on imagine a game where you don't actually spend your hard-earned money to purchase in-game resources or heroes but rather a savings account where the more you save the more resource resources you earn the more money you get blockchain games and nfts the application of blockchain technology has developed nonstop in recent years, and this technology not only adapts successfully to a digital currency, but also in other areas such as finance, logistics, and especially in the gaming industry. Why? Because blockchain technology will restructure the way games are created, managed, and played for both game creators and game players. In fact, most online games are designed and managed based on a centralized model that means the game creator or gaming companies have full control over every data stored on the server. Data in the gaming context consists of content info and the server that stores all the in-game assets, the players such as virtual money, items, collectibles, etc. It could have been it could be seen that the players don't have any power and full ownership of collectible items and account information in the game. It is one of the crucial issues that blockchain technology can solve and create a revolution in this industry. So the revolution is right now, there's no way to have your own ownership within the gaming platforms that exist and, and in equilibrium, the revolution is one of the things that could solve is, let's reread this back, that blockchain technology can solve giving the players full ownership of collectible items and account information within the game, giving the power back to the gamers. In blockchain, things are different. As the system is decentralized, which means that there is no central authority and the players have access to their own parts of the game, like tokenized assets and digital collectibles, lands and buildings. Yeah, you're gonna be able to buy and own lands and real estate within the game. It's crazy. That helps them buy, sell, and transfer them within whenever they want. In other words, applying blockchain technology in the game industry will create a player-driven economy where players can trade with each other without being managed by a centralized system. So more blockchain games and NFTs. Blockchain's adoption in gaming will go beyond what traditional gaming is doing now. Games players can now have full access and ownership of the digital assets that will not be eliminated by game owners. And they could keep their assets for life and trade them with other players at the marketplace. The next level in the gaming industry is promising. Equili equilibrium games make it possible to tokenize virtual items and sell them through our marketplace or external marketplaces. So now the problem is happening on Ethereum on the gaming platforms. Let's, you, let's say you want to buy a $2.99 sword in the game. Or let's say you want to buy a hat. You want to buy a new hat for your, your character. It costs $2.99. But then you got to pay that big Ethereum gas fee for it something so small like you're gonna pay a $20 $40 gas fee for something that costs two dollars so that's where the XRP ledger comes in that's what I heard in an interview with the CEO basically describe equilibrium games uses blockchain technologies and NFTs to empower the players 
NFTs are an emerging part of the global game market, virtual tokens for digital scarcity, security, and authenticity. Each NFT is distinct or unique. It's indivisible and is not interchangeable for another. So that's just a repeat of the definition of NFTs. So this is basically uh, them speaking on themselves as passionate gamers and crypto enthusiasts. We are developing games that are rewarding the player to play. Play to earn model is the next big thing in the gaming industry. Wouldn't you agree? Anytime I talk to a gamer, I tell them this. What would you, would you enjoy having a game that actually you could earn real world value for playing? All of them are like, heck yeah. Many gamers thought about going pro and earn money while playing. Now this is open for everyone by playing. Isn't that most kids' dream? So here are some of the rewards. So they have 20% of their EQ supply will be allocated for server rewards and who uh, the player can receive by playing our games, doing quests and killing monsters, first boss monsters, kills, and events. So by playing, you kill a monster, you earn EQ tokens. Uh, Equilibrium Games. They have already a few games ready to go live. Uh, Hodlmon and World of Equilibrium is right here. Equilibrium Games is an idea to integrate blockchain, blockchain into games, and we are open to integrate other gaming development companies under Equilibrium Games to create a multi-market for gamers. Cosmetic items, so they have World of Equilibrium out now, and uh, cosmetic vanity items are collectibles, NFT cosmetic items, as well as normal items will be, trade a bit, be tradable in the marketplace with EQ tokens player can earn through trading these assets so yeah you could basically use your eq tokens to purchase different collectibles in in game and then you could trade them with other users you'd also use your eq tokens to acquire land and buildings you know the metaverse and the gaming talk you could basically use eq to acquire land within the game the owner of land can earn passive income by taxing other players for services used in the land and receive an amount of EQ tokens found by other players in their land. So this is a really fun way to make some passive income. I've never seen a passive income opportunities like this. And this is what the new world's about. You know, gamers have been kind of misunderstood for a long time. And it's a true passion and a hobby for a lot of people. And some people don't understand how some people i like other things i like going hiking i like uh playing basketball but everybody likes what they like and i think people should always have a way to create abundance in what they're passionate for so if a gamer is truly passionate about gaming this is the way they can create abundance for themselves then this beautiful this is what the new world's about in my opinion so they're going to have all these marketplaces where you get to trade with other players in the game or trade exchanges. You earned equilibrium, trade the ownership of buildings, terrains, level. Or So if you hop on this game fast and you start basically buying up all the land, you basically have a monopoly of, the, of all the land within the game. And then uh, you could sell it to other people or have passive income. It's like a real, real world monopoly within a game. It's crazy. <laughs> Mission and features. Equilibrium game missions is to build a system where users can play, share, and trade with, without central control, enjoying secure copyright ownership with the ability to earn EQ tokens. Equilibrium is a token that aims to combine the power of gaming and crypto into one. The gaming industry is bombing with games that are reward the player for playing. Equilibrium is going to take this to the next level by having no entry cost to participate in the game and earn directly. So there's going to be, it's going to be all free to play these games. Features of Equilibrium games. You can play to earn. I think that's going to be the number one incentive, especially worldwide. Imagine people in other countries able to get connected to Equilibrium games and play some of the world's best games for free. You'll be able to trade freely within the open market. There is no central authority. There will be NFTs with utility, like I mentioned, NFT where you own land within the game and you get basically passive income for things that happen in your land. That's part of the passive income. Be a landlord within the game. 
earn through NFTs. So that's like purchasing its NFT for 50 equilibrium, reselling it for 100 equilibrium on the market. So uh, that's why I thought when I read about this, I really truly believe it's a unicorn project. I'm not really concerned about the temporary price fluctuation of going ups and downs. Uh, this is a project that, you know, might be five to 10 years ahead of its time, but uh, I'm okay with being early, you know? So uh, let's look at their Twitter EQ. This is on November 27th, still only 31 million market cap after massive runups. They still have a long way to go. They already have gains being developed within their uh, ecosystem. We've already seen it run up to 80 cents. It's down to 40 cents again. What we are working on, world of equilibrium, working on better combat mechanics, mechanics creating a new map. Uh, their partners will be using EQ, which is Hodelmon. Let me go to their actual website. So here's an example. A landowner receives tax from every player that kills monsters in his land and earns EQ. So the example, player one is in the desert of Theramol, kills a sandworm and receives 0.1 equilibrium. So that would be about four cents right now, 0.1 of equilibrium. The owner of the NFT of the desert Theramol receives 0.01 to 0 0.005 equilibrium numbers change. So you basically collect a tax like a mob lord of the land <laughs> by owning that NFT. And I can see this getting really creative and kind of being the unicorn that makes people think about games in another way. And Grayscale is predicting that the metaverse gaming could go to a trillion dollar industry. Equilibrium is sitting at under a hundred million dollar market cap right now. So long term, uh, this is an exciting little project that's built on the XRP ledger. We love the XRP ledger. Let me go to their website. Equilibrium games combining blockchain and gaming industry. I'll read this description again one more time. Equilibrium. Equilibrium is our cryptocurrency, which can be obtained in the games and outside to create real player driven economy, which the token you'll be able to buy NFTs like cosmetic items, ownership of land and other services in games and outside. It runs on the XRP ledger, which is fast and cheap. Equilibrium is and will be used on all games developed by Equilibrium Games and their partners. So this is one of their games. It looks pretty sick to me. That's Hoddle Man, I believe. That's Hoddle Man. Hoddle Man Universe. See, so this is World of Equilibrium. Looks like World of Warcraft to me. Second biggest project on the XRP ledger, this 50,000 trust line. I don't know how updated this is. I really like the way this world of Equilibrium Games looks like. The hardcore MMO game. So the thing about these MMA, MMO games, I guess that you have to, like most people who play these games, like you could play an MMO, MMO game for like eight hours straight. So it's not like a game you play for 30 minutes. MMO games you play for like five hours, eight hours, even 12 hours time periods. Hardcore MMO, hardcore MMO means if the character dies in battle, if by a monster or by another player's hand, the character is deleted, the player will have to create a new character and start their journey anew. On character's death, player loss loses everything. The character had an exemption of equilibrium, NFTs like cosmetic items and ownership of lands and buildings. A hardcore play style emphasizes the social aspects of an MMO. RPG players will have to find groups or players they trust in the hopes they'll not get betrayed. 
prestige system. Prestige system is a bonus system that gives the player permanent bonuses. When a player dies, he earns prestige points, which can be returned for extra status bonuses like extra health, attack damage, etc. So the bounty system. Players can set bounties or other players with equilibrium. For example, player one gets killed by player two. Player one sets a bounty on the head of player two. Other players can hunt and kill player two and receive the bounty and reward. This is insane. <laughs> Discover the land of equilibrium, the desert of Theramol. Hope I'm pronouncing that quite correctly, but knowing me, I'm probably not. Look how awesome this looks. And you could own this land and, and be like a mob lord, and a landlord, they call it, and collect tax on everything that happens and earn passive income. Imagine telling someone, yeah, I got rich and famous. I got rich off freaking um, games. I think that's the ultimate. Uh, that's uh, pretty funny. And they have more, more lands being um, developed. So here are some cool equilibrium updates what it's about um i've been promising people i'll do a video on this for a while now i think it's really unique and uh, i think gamers will love it and i hope the best gaming people move over to the xrp ledger system and build on the world of equilibrium and make that world freaking amazing and i want to buy some land okay everybody have an awesome day peace